Hello everyone, welcome back uh, here is Panamsan with another live coding session and if you new here hit the subscribe button and don't forget to ring the bell and let's get started. Today we are diving deep into data structure with a fun favorite uh, topic designing our very own hash map in Python. So uh, let's get into uh, coding. So a hash map also known as a a dictionary or associative array is a set of key value pairs and uh, where each key is unique and our goal today is to build a basic version from scratch without using python built-in script so let's say we want to store some user id and uh, their names and instead of having two separate lists and finding names uh, by uh, iterating through the user IDs, a hash map allow us to directly access the name using the user ID as a key. And it's like having a special index for each user. So our hash map will use the concept of hashing. So uh, here is the basic idea. So we will convert our key into an integer using a hash function uh, we will store the key value pair in an array or table uh, at the index given by the hash and to handle a collision when two keys hash uh, to the same index we will use a linked list at each table uh, index all right so uh, it's coding time so we will start by defining our uh, list node class for our linked list. So uh, let's get started with uh, linked list. So class uh, list node def int self key value and self uh, key self value will be value and self next will be node. Uh, so uh, our list uh, node will store a key value pair and reference to the next node. So simple, right? And uh, we will proceed with uh, our custom my hash map. So now our my hash uh, map will have methods to put, get, and remove key value uh, pairs. And uh, of course, the magic is uh, in how to handle those uh, collisions. Uh, so uh, let's type out uh, the uh, explain uh, and yeah, start with uh, init method. So self size will be thousand and table known times self size and define index self key uh, int and return key modulo self size. Uh, okay, so great. Uh, let's put our hash map uh, uh, deeper. So now we will implement also uh, the put. So it will be index self index of key. And if not self table index then self table index will be our list node key value and return and current self table index and while current if current key equals key we found current value will be value and return if not current next, current next will be list node key value and return current next. So we have also put. So Now let's 
have to uh, get methods so get will be index so index t uh, yeah so index t current so table index um, while current while current Return current value and current will be current next and return minus minus. Uh, yeah, let's put some space there. And finally, remove. So remove will be index self index key and current will be self table index and if not current return and if current t equals our t self table index equal current next and return and while Uh, current will be next and our current next next and return and also current will be current next okay so uh, this is our implementation so yeah a bit wrong but uh, let's see if it's working uh, so putting our hash mark to the test and uh, yep so uh, put put get get put it tested remove get uh, so those operation and output okay so basically we are uh, inserting uh, some values and putting into our test and so constraint so t value have less than million and we will have at most n to the power uh, of four call uh, of uh, function put get and remove so let's submit it for unsynthesis cases to verify it's also working so yes it's working and yep we did 58 percent with respect to uh, runtime and also 48 with respect to uh, memory so all good we can even re submit it to double uh, check if it's working so yeah as you can see now it's between 72 percent so basically uh, quite uh, good uh, and that's it we built our uh, very own hash map uh, in python so i hope you enjoyed this session as much as uh, i did so a bit of uh, uh, coding of data structure so i hope you enjoyed this uh, and if you did uh, smash the like button and share it with your friends and remember understanding underlying structure like this can make you a better programmer and help in uh, those uh, coding interview as well. Uh, so until next time, stay motivated, keep practicing and happy coding.